So we have certain rules here when transaction ti that attempts to lock a node q must follow these rules. First one is it should observe the lock compatibility. It means that let's say if I have a node this a okay, and a is already locked with let's say intention exclusive mode. Now if uh, intention exclusive this transaction I mean a is already locked by some transaction tj okay with this intention exclusive mode now this transaction ti requests a intention exclusive lock right as we know that intention exclusive and intention exclusive are compatible right so it can be granted but if with this intention exclusive let's say this transaction ti tries to acquire a lock which is let's say shared okay shared lock then in that case we know that intention exclusive and shared are not compatible that's why this lock cannot be granted and as this lock cannot be granted this transaction should roll back okay so the first rule is that when transaction ti tries to lock a node q okay this is q a lock a node q first rule is that it should observe the compatibility matrix which we have just studied right okay now the second rule is root of the tree must be locked first and it can be locked in any mode right so when we start locking okay when a transaction ti attempts to lock a node okay this q now if this q is part of a tree let's say it is it has some parent a then what we need to do is first we need to lock this parent right first this parent will be locked and this parent can be locked in any intention lock mode fine the third rule is that the third rule is that a node q can be locked by transaction ti in shared or intention shared mode only if the parent of q is currently locked by a transaction the same transaction in either intention exclusive mode or intention shared mode so what i mean to say is if this is the granularity tree and if i want to this is our q and if i want to lock this q with shared or intention shared mode then the parent of this node which is this node a it should already be locked by same transaction this is being attempted by transaction ti then by the same transaction it should be already this node this parent should be already locked in either intention exclusive or intention shared mode right so this will be only permitted if the parent is already locked by same transaction in intention exclusive or intention shared mode fourth rule says that a node q can be locked by transaction ti in exclusive shared intention exclusive or intention exclusive mode only if the parent of q is already locked by the same transaction ti in exclusive or shared intention exclusive mode so what i mean by saying is this that if transaction ti ti requests a lock on this item q and this lock is exclusive shared intention exclusive
shared intention exclusive or intention exclusive right if this lock is requested by transaction ti then the parent of this queue which can be any other node let's say a is already locked by the same transaction in which mode either intention exclusive or shared intention exclusive okay so if any of three lock is requested okay or if transaction ti wants to get a lock on database item q which, which is exclusive shared intention exclusive or intention exclusive then in that case this can only be granted if the parent is already locked with intention exclusive or shared intention exclusive okay now the next rule is that so next rule is very similar to two phase locking that it says transaction ti can get a lock only if it has not unlocked any node so far okay so if transaction has started unlocking it cannot be granted further locks right so if transaction ti has not unlocked any item till now so far then we can grant a new lock okay once unlock starts it cannot lock new item right and the last rule is that ti can unlock a node okay a transaction ti can unlock a node q only if all the child are on already unlocked by ti that is none of the child is currently locked by ti so it means that let's say this is transaction uh, ti and it wants to unlock this was already locked it wants to unlock this queue then before it unlocks its queue this item queue it has to ensure that this is already unlocked and this is already unlocked right it is very obvious as we know that uh, there is a granularity of data that is if you assume this is a table then this is a record and this is a record right now if i want to unlock this table it is obvious that this transaction should be already unlocking all these records right so if there is a lock in any record it has to unlock the record first and then finally if there is no lock by this transaction on these records then it can unlock this table right so this is conceptually i am talking about table and rows now it is clear that in this process in intention mode locking or multiple granularity protocol locking is being performed from top to bottom right so let's say if i have i have to lock this first i have to ensure that none of the parent is locked right so i'll start putting some intention mode lock from top only right from top node okay from root itself so when locking is done it is from top to bottom okay root to leaf and when unlocking is done as from this rule we can understand that first all the children should be unlocked right so when unlocking has to be done it will be done from leaf to root right so make note of this point okay so when locking has to be done it will be top to bottom that is root to leaf and when unlocking has to be done it will be leaf to root fine so this is all about the introduction and rules of granularity protocol multiple granularity protocol okay next lecture we will have a, an example on this to understand it more clearly so see you in the next lecture thanks for watching